thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study probability number 13. The probability of Unis passing our exam is 0 0.9, that of Ross 0 0.7, while that of Sandra is 0 0.5. Part A, draw a tree diagram to represent the above information. Before we draw the tree diagram, it's good for us to remember that the passing of Unis, that of Ross, and that of Sandra are three independent events. Independent events are events in which the occurrence of one does not affect the occurrence of the other. Something else we are supposed to understand is that uh, there is the passing of Unis, there is the passing of Ross, there is the passing of Sandra, then their respective failing. Now, the passing and failing of the individuals are what we call mutually exclusive events. These are events in which the occurrence of one eliminates the occurrence of the other. For example, when we start with units in the drawing of the diagram, now we will start by talking about the units passing and units failing. So units can pass or fail. Units pass is 0 0.9. The probability of two mutually exclusive events must add up to one. That is, automatically, UNIS fail becomes 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Then now, after UNIS case, we go to ROS, whereby the outcome for ROS is independent from what has happened for UNIS. So ROS can still fail or pass. The passing of Ross has a probability of 0 0.7. And because her passing and failing are mutually exclusive events, then automatically the failing of Ross becomes 0 0.3. Ross can still pass or fail independently, even if, even if Unis had failed, the outcome for Ross is unaffected. So we're going to have the passing 0 0.7 probability and automatically 0 0.3 for the failing. And finally, we'll talk about Sandra now. Maybe we are saying Sandra's outcome is also independent. So we can have Sandra passing, Sandra failing. The passing is 0 0.5, which means the failing is also 0 0.5. Then at this case, we shall have the same Sandra, Sandra failing. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We proceed to the next bracket. We can have Sandra passing, Sandra failing. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And finally, we will have the same Sandra's pass. Sandra's fail, the pass 0 0.5 and the failing 0 0.5. So now these are the outcomes represented on a tree diagram. Allow me to simplify the tree diagram by having all the outcomes uh, listed at the end of the brackets. So we have Unis, Ross, Sandra, all of them passing. Then the second one is starting with Unis, Ross, but Sandra's failed. We have a Unis, Ross, failed, Sandra, passing. Then we have Unis, passing, Ross, failing, Sandra, failing. We have Unis, failing. Ross and Sandra passing, Unis failing, Ross passing, but Sandra failing, then Unis fails, Ross fails, but Sandra passes, and finally all of them failing. So these are the probabilities now listed at the end of each bracket.
we can go now to the questions whereby we are told to use the tree diagram to find the probability that only two students pass the exam. So the probability only two students pass can be the following cases. We can have this case whereby Eunice and Ross passes, but Sandra fails. We can have the next case whereby Eunice and Sandra are passing, but Ross alone is failing, or Eunice alone faces, uh, fails, but Ross and Sandra passes. Those are the only possibilities whereby we have two students strictly passing. So that is going to be probability, Eunice, Ross, but Sandra fails, or probability, Eunice passes, Ross alone fails with the Sandra also passing, or the probability Unis alone failing, but Ross and Sandra passes. So these are the probabilities that we are going to compute. So to compute this, we need to start with uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.5 or in probability means addition 0 0.9 0 0.3 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 0 0.7 and 0 0.5 then when we compute this we're going to have 0. 315 or 0 0.135 or 0.035. When we add this, we're going to get 0 0.485. This is the probability that only two students are going to pass. The same probability can be expressed as a fraction whereby we will have 485 out of 1,000. And when we simplify by five, we're going to get 97 out of 200. The same can also be expressed as a percentage, whereby we multiply by 100. This is going to be 48.5%. So thank you so much for following. Subscribe and share this lesson with your friends.